Welcome to the Philips IntelliView Patient Monitoring Microlearnings. In this video, I will walk you through the basic operation of the IntelliView Patient Monitor. Let's get started. Right now, you are viewing a screen of an IntelliView Patient Monitor displaying data in demo mode. The screen is made up of different areas. This is the monitor information line displaying, amongst other things, the patient name. The alarm status area shows active alarms messages or alarms off symbols when all alarms are switched off. The measurement area displays the clinical measurement values, the waveforms and the trends and the clinical applications. The status line shows messages with information and prompts you for possible actions. And these are the screen keys. Some keys are permanent keys like main screen key and the main setup key or the acknowledge key and others are smart keys. Smart keys give you fast access to functions. You may also find some hard keys as physical keys on your monitor device, for example, to start or to stop a non-invasive blood pressure measurement. Know that you know all the different screen areas, it is time that you discover how you can operate on the screen. Well, that is simple, it's a touch screen. Directly select the screen element you need. For example, select the heart rate numeric to call up the ECG setup menu. Select the ECG wave segment to call up the ECG lead menu. And to close the menu, you can use either the X on the top right corner in the window or you can use the main screen key down below your screen. And also note that you don't need to close a window before you can open another one. Simply select another screen element. Now here you see the SPO2 setup menu. In the menu, you can scroll down and up using the arrows. I now want to adjust the lower alarm limit and the threshold for the desaturation alarm. I have now selected the new alarm limits and I can close the menu. There is no need for additional confirmation. If you need to learn more about alarms in your IntelliView patient monitors, watch the alarm management tutorial. Oh yeah, and maybe nice to know. You can also move a window. For example, when it covers up something you want to view while the window is open. Select the title of the window, keep your finger on the title, and then move the window away. The new position is only active until the window or menu is closed. And finally, I would like to tell you a bit more about our screen keys. I already talked about the smart keys. They give you fast access to functions, remember. The selection of smart keys available on your monitor depends on your monitor configuration. Here are some examples of common smart keys. Start or stop a non-invasive blood pressure measurement. Zero, an invasive pressure measurement. Few trends. Put the monitor in standby mode. And then when I scroll to the left or the right side, I can even find more smart keys. When I now use the main screen key, not only the open windows on the screen close, but also the smart keys from the first row are displayed again. The main setup key gives you access to all menus and functions in the monitor. That's quite a lot to scroll and select, but the functions you need most are ordered at the top of the list. Take for example measurements. You probably need this one a lot. Under measurements, you will find all the clinical measurements. For example, here is the SPO2. Well, that is exactly the same menu I showed you before, isn't it? You see, there are many ways to access functions, and I'm sure you will figure that out quickly. Well, that's it for now. Check out our other micro-learning videos too.
Thank you for watching.